We've been having an absolute blast out here hunting pheasants the last couple of days. However, it seems like the shotgun to use is the 16 gauge lever action shotgun. But a lot of you guys were saying we should try out the 10 gauge. Well, that's exactly what we're going to do. We just got our first warning call from a hen pheasant right in front of us here. So we're going to swing on by and take a look. If we see a rooster, we're obviously going to take the rooster first. But if we don't, then we're definitely going to take this hen. I hear something trying to fly. Oh, right there, right there. It looks to be a hen. Hen tracks, and there's definitely a hen. Come on, fly, 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 fly. There she goes. First pheasant down with the 10 gauge. It took her down really, really well. Got a call from another pheasant over there. We'll go check that out in a second. But it seems like the 10 gauge might be where it's at. Holy, look at that. That is pretty impressive. We ended up getting a brain shot. We got a lung shot. We got an intestine shot. Took out both wings and the tail feathers at 20 yards away. That's pretty impressive. Got another one right here about to take off. First shot let it just a hair too much, but the second shot we definitely connected and we're going to call from another hen. So let's pick this one up. I'd like to find a rooster here eventually, but again, just absolutely pulverize that thing. Another brain shot, intestine. Wow, this thing has so much power and we can actually use it as well. As you can see here, everything is intact. So that's pretty cool. Now we're staying zeroed in for 55. And to me, it seems like that's working out pretty well. It's just uh, the, it's basically like we have a, a modified chip. Ooh, that's a max weight rooster track. Ooh, that's what I'm looking for. It's basically like we have a modified choke in. So it's perfect as long as you get the lead down just right. And it's so difficult to track these things though. Maybe we'll go over here and go check out this hen because that rooster could potentially be with her. Because I can't seem to find his track anywhere else around here. Holy rooster! Yes! Second shot got him. I don't. Oh, that's a rooster. Oh, we hit him. He's hit. He's hit. Oh my god, I love this 10 gauge. I love this 10 gauge. <laughs> that's what I thought. About time we even things up a little bit here, pheasants. <laughs> okay, so this is the first rooster we got. I think this might be the one that we were tracking. Um, That's definitely not the one that we were tracking. But well, we took him at 41 yards and got a brain shot on him. And what's cool is you can actually get a brain shot and it doesn't affect the score. But he wasn't quite big enough for a gold. So that means this one here must have been the one that uh, we were tracking. Yeah, this is definitely the one we were tracking. This right here, guys, is our max weight rooster. <laughs> I never got a chance to spot him yet. But he looked pretty impressive. And here he is. He's a 17.5 and a gold. We took him at 45 yards out. Looks like we only hit him three times, but that's still pretty impressive. And a big old gold rooster down. Well, the gobbler never came in, so we're gonna go after these roosters here. I was hoping the gobbler would come in, but there goes one rooster right there. Come on, fly. Oh, he's gonna be a runner. Um, There's some kind of a different color pheasant right there. Can't tell if that's a rooster or a hen. Looks to be like a rooster. Kind of like one of those uh, different colored ones. Fly, 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 fly. Oh, we just smoked both of those. Hit that one. We're empty. <laughs> We're empty. We just went three for three. One, two, three. Three shots, three birds with a 10 gauge. I like that. Uh... That's a hen. We'll let her be. This is the rooster that I wanted to get. I'm pretty sure. Is this the gray colored one? It is. It's a gray and a 16.2. A nice gold. Took him at 14 yards away with five hits in him. So that's pretty decent right there. And I'm a little bit far back, but still, I think he dropped right on the spot. And then we got two more down. I'm not sure if we got all. Okay, this is definitely a hen. Hit that one 15 times at 24 yards out. I see, I think a white tail down there. Oh, that's actually a somewhat of a decent ram. 
That should be him right there, as a matter of fact. Come on, fly. Don't run. Got him. Going down. Where's he going down? Oh, right there. Huh. What do I hear? I can't tell if that's a rooster or not. It's a hen. Whatever it is, just got smoked by the power of the 10 gauge. Gonna call from another pheasant. That's gonna be another hen. Okay, let's grab this one and then we'll go over and grab that rooster. Uh, just a hen. Then this is our rooster that we finally got. He actually wasn't even that big, but we smoked him. 28 BBs at 20 yards. Now that is impressive. That's what you want. That's definitely what you want. Right lung, neck, liver, intestine, everything. We literally hit everything that we possibly could have. Another hen calling over there. Now this rooster right here in particular is the one that kept on running from us. We finally did get a shot through the trees, but uh, it was a very difficult shot. Now he's calling over here and he probably ran again. We got tracks here. And no rooster. Rooster! I don't think we got him. Ah, he flew right into the trees and I couldn't tell where he was. I guess I'm wrong. <laughs> All of a sudden, I heard something pile up, and I looked, and it's our rooster. We got him, guys. And he's a tiny, tiny rooster. 11.30. We actually hit him two times in the wing and took him down. I'll take it. I'm pretty sure I see a rooster right in front of us here. Yeah, I definitely see a pheasant. I couldn't tell if it was a rooster or not, but it's running. It's running pretty fast. I last saw it like right here. There it is. Oh, we hit him the first shot and the second shot we smoked him. He's a really cool looking rooster. A really cool looking rooster. He's a molting. A tiny molting, but he's a molting. Another max weight rooster track we just picked up. I've yet to see this pheasant as well. Um, we're getting a call from another rooster, which is not the one that we're tracking, but either way, we should probably check it out real quick. I think this might be the one that we missed like three times. <laughs> Twice with the recurve and three times with the 12 gauge. Is that seriously him like a mile out there running? Look at that. It's him. Smart old rooster. Come on, fly up. Fly up, rooster. Come on. He's still sitting there. He wants to fly. Come on. Come on. Oh, don't go that way. Do not fly up that way, please. He's going to do it. Oh, he's stuck. A stuck running rooster. Whoa, he's flying. But it's like slow motion. I mean, there's a chance we might have hit it, but I highly doubt it. Mm, no blood. That means no rooster. And that was one heck of a tough shot. Those cases there, you either got to get super lucky or you don't. And uh, we didn't. <laughs> Where'd they go? Right there. I see one, guys. Right there, right there, right there. Look at this. Right in front of us. He's bedded down right in front of us here. Let's see if we can't flush him up. Come on. It's so perfect if you would just flush. No! Fly, fly, fly! Oh, that is one toasted rooster. And it's not even the one that we were after. 24 hits to that sucker. Look at that. Wow. 14.7. But yeah, that's not even the right one. 
Literally just about ran right past him. The last shot. Got him. I almost ran right past that rooster. I was just checking to see if I was still recording. And then all of a sudden I look down and I see this reddish orange color right in this tree here. And sure enough, it was him. And then I missed twice. And we definitely got him the third shot at about 50 yards out probably. And it's a big gold. It's actually a gray. 34 yards out we hit him. And uh, one BB took down that rooster. But a 17.6 gold gray rooster. Oh, hello. Getting a call from a male Mexican bobcat in front of us. And I do believe we have the Mosin. Yes, we do. So if we can see him, that would be pretty cool. Also, there was a decent coyote here as well, which I wouldn't mind trying to get. Ooh, that's a big Mexican bobcat track. I think that might be max weight. Man, he's got to be like right here somewhere. There he goes. There he goes. Ooh, he's a big seven. You know what? I'm super pumped because he's going to be our first gold Mexican bobcat if we can make this happen. And he's going out to a perfect spot to be able to make this happen as well. Here we go. Here we go. Almost took that shot. Almost took that shot. Come on. Can't quite get his attention. Ooh, that's a good buck. It's not our bobcat, but that's, uh, that's a really good whitetail. Uh, I switched out for... I think that's the M1, maybe? That's definitely the M1. I think we got a good hit. So the buck was right over here on top of this ridge and we took the shot right about here. In fact, I think he was like right here. I found him and ooh, I knew he was big. 237. Took him at 313 yards in the right lung and a beautiful white tail. So yeah, that's going to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.